All right, very good. Well, thank you very much uh, for first of all, allowing uh, myself and Amanda to have a little fun this afternoon with the uh, baking out of the box presentation. And just overall, I, I really appreciate LA County for inviting us over the years to uh, GIS Day. I've said it before and I'll say it again that um, you folks know how to put on a, a great event, whether it be in person or uh, in the past two years, uh, looking at a uh, virtual, virtual event, but it's definitely been top notch. Uh, the speakers from day one and all the way up until um, most recent speaker uh, that was before us, very informative information when it comes to GIS. So again, I appreciate the invite and allowing us to uh, be a partner uh, throughout the years. And so uh, what I was looking to do today uh, in my presentation uh, was really talk about the, uh, the transformation that I have personally seen over the past uh, eight to 10 years that I've been working with LA County and the various consortium members that make up Lariac. If you were able to join my presentation uh, this, or this afternoon, um, I mentioned LARIAC, and that might be a foreign acronym to some folks, uh, but what that stands for is the Los Angeles Region Imagery Acquisition Consortium. I know it's a mouthful, but I'll tell you what, it's an organization and a consortium um, that's been around, I believe, since 2001. And so uh, you talk about some history and experience in what this consortium has built over the years. But really, uh, again, I'm going to keep coming back to the word of this transformation. And I got the idea as uh, me and my son were watching uh, the movie Transformers, and I felt like this was a, a good analogy to use uh, when talking about uh, Malariac and the organization and what they've transformed to be. So I'm just going to play a, a little clip here. And again, this is what kind of kicked off and spurred my idea for this particular presentation when it comes to the uh, Lariac Consortium. And let's see if this video plays. If not, I'll roll right into the next one. by their rules. Well, the rules have just changed. All right, so I, I thought that clip was just so fitting for this particular consortium that has been building since 2001. As you saw Optimus Prime rolling down that highway, 
and all the way to the end, that's where I really got this analogy from is as far as this transformation. I feel like when I first uh, started hearing about Lariac uh, years before I actually worked uh, with Eagle View um, in, a, in a prior company, I had heard about this organization that was coming together as a, as a consortium in order to acquire uh, you know, digital, uh, digital data, geospatial data. And uh, so as I started looking into them more and got the pleasure of working with them, um, it looks at the purpose was to provide orthogonal imagery, oblique imagery, digital terrain data, building outlines to all government entities in Los Angeles County. So I almost feel like this was their original purpose. This is what they were looking to do from the, from the very beginning. And of course, you know, some of their objectives were, were to try to meet the needs of try to meet the needs of all the folks that would be utilizing this imagery, not just your traditional engineers and surveyors, but also folks that were just being introduced to GIS and aerial imagery. But I think that was the overall vision is, is making sure they're including and involving everybody into this particular consortium. And then of course, the very important key of integrating the aerial imagery into the GIS system. And what I mean by GIS is I'm talking about multiple applications and softwares and uh, web applications now, but that was, I believe the vision from day one and now it's just so interesting to see how it's transformed. And later on in the presentation, I'm going to go through some of those various applications on what this consortium has transformed into and how they're utilizing our technology in order to get the most value out of it. And so in looking at a consortium, you know, it was asked probably in the very beginning, why is a consortium needed? Uh, you know, what, what's the purpose of it? And uh, why would, you know, over 60, 75 entities come together in order to form a consortium? Well, the first one, of course, is, you know, aerial imagery um, is a very important tool uh, for an effective government operations. And it's not until you actually integrate the aerial imagery into your GIS system that the, um, that the end users uh, the public start to see the information and the, uh, the data come alive and start to make sense of what's going on. Um, the other reason I think this consortium was for, uh, formed is there was multiple acquisitions that were, being, um, that were being collected by multiple government entities within LA County. And so, for example, you had you know, various cities capturing aerial imagery, and then you had the county capturing aerial imagery. So I thought there was a real good opportunity uh, that these leaders saw back in 2001 in order to come together in order to save uh, constituents uh, and taxpayers money there. The other thing is your consistency of your quality and data is having somebody, uh, you know, one particular business partner capture that uh, imagery or that data set for you and then it being used across an entire county and across various systems, you can uh, clearly understand how that consistency can make for more informed and better decision making uh, when it comes to GIS and utilizing aerial imagery. As far as uh, the limited sharing of data, I really think us partnering, and when I say us, I'm talking about Eagle View, my company, partnering with Lariac is what uh, really catapulted uh, this particular consor consortium when it came to data sharing. And that's one of our uh, one of our business models that we pride ourselves on is that we do not want to restrict our customers of utilizing the imagery by image clicks or image views. In fact, we want everybody to use our imagery, whether that be through internal applications or out uh, external uh, for public information. And that's what we're doing on a daily basis is helping you customers get this imagery integrated into your GIS systems. And then last but not least, the reason why this group was formed was uh, because of ineffective use of public funds. And again, that was just uh, the multiple acquisitions that were taken over time. And um, you'll see over when we re start reviewing these projects, you'll see over time what has taken place in the transform transformation. So as the consortium set off to start looking um, and partner with somebody in the business, uh, they had a number of different requirements and data sets that they were um, looking to acquire. And here's just a few uh, illustrated here in this picture. Uh, but I would say the four main core products that we, Eagle View, has delivered to uh, the consortium over the past uh, years 
is we focused on high resolution and very accurate ortho imagery, including your IR band. And when I mention accurate, I'm talking about it being a very premium product. And so we guarantee that accuracy. It's abiding by mapping standards, using ground control points, aerial triangulation. And at the end of the day, we're doing your seam line steering to make sure that you're getting a very high quality, high accurate ortho photo. We also, as I said earlier in my presentation, we are the pioneers of the oblique image, the intelligent oblique image. And so that is another data set that we have consistently provided to this particular consortium for them to make more informed and quicker business decisions. And from that imagery, we've then derived building outlines each and every project we've done in order for the county to be able to keep up with change over time. And then the last but not least and the fourth component um, are the fourth major data set that my company has provided for, uh, for the Lariat Consortium is uh, elevation data. And so we've captured uh, LIDAR in the past, created some uh, derivative data sets from that uh, raw LIDAR data set, and then of course made that available to the uh, various members of Lariac. But from that original request and requirement of data, um, over the years, you can see how this has transformed to not just those core products, but now we've done projects in regards to street view imagery and uh, land cover data, uh, tree mapping, things to that nature that were, were really solving real world problems with our technology and working hand in hand with the uh, Lariac Consortium. And as you see here, um, what we've done here over the past year, starting back in 2006, we've essentially captured LA County as a whole in, in phases. And so typically these phases come in about a two to four year period. And uh, what we're doing here in each project, as you can see, you have various partners participating. So back in 2006, we had up to 50 partners. There was 35 cities, nine county departments, and six other organizations involved. And as time went on and people started realizing the advantages of joining together as a team, as a consortium, and leveraging that in addition to being able to use consistent data across multiple systems, you can see how the consortium has grown in numbers over time. In 2014, 83 participants. In 2017, a few dropped off as far as 74 part uh, partners. But just looking at this particular diagram, you can see the amount of participation that has taken place over the years in order, in order to build this Optimus Prime sort of consortium. And it didn't happen overnight. And so I'm gonna attempt to step uh, and walk through the history of that and, um, and try to end where we're at today and some of the use cases uh, where the uh, city and the county departments are utilizing our technology in their systems. So here's just a quick uh, screenshot where I talked about the core of the four uh, core products that uh, Eagle View has captured for the Lariac Consortium and its members. As you can see, usually there's or ortho imagery that's involved. And in fact, we've recently over the past two years uh, um, started what we call a frequent capture program where, be be where between our premium, um, premium product, we're actually capturing high resolution ortho and oblique imagery uh, in the spring and fall seasons. And that also includes your IR band. So I think what the consortium has realized is the more data that they get over time, the more information they can derive from these images and then feed that back to their customers of folks that are asking for that information in order to make some decisions moving forward, whether that be from a planning perspective, whether that be from an assessment uh, county assessor in placing values on homes, or whether that be just uh, simply working with public safety and 911 and them needing to know what's on the ground and having a current image. Now, I talk about how big this consortium is and all these great data products and high resolution stuff, but I can tell you that it didn't happen overnight. It took a lot of meetings, a lot of user groups, a lot of trainings. And so again, I'm going to attempt to start and walk through this and I'll start 
the history by playing what I remembered. And while me and my son were on the couch watching uh, the, the new Transformers movie, I got to thinking on what did that look like back in the day? And so here's just a little clip of what we grew up with. So not to date myself, but that's the Transformers that I remember um, and the, uh, the, uh, the show that I used to watch. But you can see that it's come a long ways in regards to the technology. And that right there sets me up for my next slide. So back, back before the Lariat Consortium was formed, uh, along came a very small company based out of Rochester, New York called Pictometry. And as you can see, this was our first prototype of capturing aerial, uh, aerial imagery um, outside of planes. And so what you're seeing there uh, is, not a, um, is not a trick. You actually are seeing duct tape uh, that's helping stabilize our particular camera at that particular moment. Uh, this is a bungee cord that has our tripod, um, uh, to, uh, tripod uh, bungee cord to the ground. And last but not least, this is our past CTO, and that is a mullet that Steve Schultz is wearing um, there uh, for this. So that just gives you an idea of how much our company has transformed to what it is, to what it was then, to what it is today. So if you look at our map, as far as coverage dating back 20 years ago now, um, if you look on the map, we only had uh, essentially three states that we were capturing imagery, New York, New Hampshire, and if you look all the way out west, we had LA County. And so that was one of the first counties that we started testing our sensors in order to bring and pioneer this oblique technology and bring it to the, uh, bring it to the masses and bring it to the industry. And as we fast forward to 2007, where we begin to then partner with the County of Los Angeles and this consortium. And this takes us back to our early days. And so for the folks that are on this phone that currently work with our imagery and our technology, I, I think it's good for you to realize on where we've come from and taking you back to what was pre-Connect Explorer and online applications, we actually had to set up this uh, desktop software on everybody's workspace and actually configure this. We also at the time had an ARC view or ARC GIS extension. And for you old timers, we actually had an ARC IMS integration at the time. So even though dating back to 2007, we were innovating and realizing that yes, our data is very good. Our resolution is high. Uh, we can see you know, the size of this building, the accuracy of the imagery is good, but what good is this data if we couldn't get it into your GIS systems and lay GIS data right on top of it. And so those are some of the screenshots that we saw before. And hey, we got another guest appearance uh, here. Of, uh, looks like some folks actually setting up EFS back in the day. And for the folks that don't recognize, that's actually Nick Franchino uh, there to the right-hand side uh, when he still had hair, uh, setting up the EFS uh, uh, software there on one of the computers. But as time went by, we continued to educate, we continued to train, and we continue to have user groups. Here's an example of where we had a user group uh, in the board. Uh, we set up a, uh, a, uh, a screen and got creative in order to use a projector in order to get uh, those end users trained and the word out of what was, what was available for the GIS users there in LA County. And as we fast forward a couple of years, uh, Eagle View, or at the time Pictometry then, was one of the first companies to actually take this aerial imagery and this rich data and put it into the cloud and put it online. And that was with the help of Lariac. It was Lariac's feedback and constant meetings with our engineers that actually got us to the place that we were at today with being able 
to display GIS accurately on these images while being able to perform your accurate measurements and ultimately allowing people that used to be in the field to be able to do a lot of things from their desktop moving forward. Looking through a couple of years ahead, what you guys see now here is Connect Explorer. Um, and this is the application that you know today and that's used very heavily in LA County um, throughout the entire consortium, both internal usage and, and public usage. Again, this didn't happen overnight. This was a, um, a user group that was conducted back in 2019. But as you can see, the numbers just continue to grow in the interest because people realizing the technology and the value that uh, we were bringing to LA County in order for people to make more informed decisions a lot quicker and at their desktop. Hey, Brian, um, just a time warning. We're yep. getting there. Uh, 10 minutes. Very good. So I'm going to quickly roll through some use cases, but I just wanted to see you. I just wanted to show you how quickly uh, the, the entire map transforms and our customer base after we landed and started working with a couple of these customers. Fast forward to 2020. This is what our map looks like today. And these are all customers that we work with on a daily basis. This isn't spec imagery. These are customers that we've flown specific projects with over the years. And this is what Southern California looked like. So because I am hitting time, just wanna quickly highlight on what we've transformed from, from going to a six inch resolution now to what we call our reveal imagery, which we're capturing uh, sometimes at uh, two inch, uh, three inch uh, imagery in order for you guys to clearly see these features on the ground where you no longer have to make uh, field trips out in the field and so what that's resulted in is us being able to not only take this high resolution imagery, but then take your local GIS data and make sense of it. Marry the two and allow you guys to make decisions right from your GIS system, right from the computer. No longer are constituents going down to the county courthouse in order to gather this data. They're able to go onto the websites, onto the web applications, and utilize this information from the comfort of their own home. And again, we didn't stop there. We realized the value of integrating our, our, our technology right into the system that you guys are currently using. And so if you look at the screenshots here, we're looking at ArcGIS Pro. We have our web app builder um, API that allows you to bring the imagery right into uh, you, can only, you can actually consume uh, the Esri REST services right into our application, so you can bring your data right in there. And um, also, you have some image services that also allow you to bring our imagery uh, right into your GIS systems. This is probably one of the most important things, I think, that has catapulted our usage within the consortium is being able to work with our third parties um, that are, you know, Esri-based applications are not even... Uh, relating to Esri, but being able to do that and then integrate, again, this high-resolution imagery right into the systems, which was key for us and also for the consortium for people to be able to use uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the county. And here's our latest uh, integration with CityWorks, and I know I've been contacted by several consortium members of wanting to get that up and running uh, with both the ortho and the oblique. All right, got about three more minutes and what I wanted to just end on is what this has transformed to and how Lariac is using this technology on a daily basis. Here I've got a screenshot of two, four, six, eight government departments. But if you really look at a website of a government, there's, you know, 30, 35, 40 departments there. And I can tell you right now that they've all been exposed to Eagle View technology and they somehow, some way are utilizing this information in order to uh, make government decisions. And so if you look at that, the first thing I wanna highlight is the public services and information. Here's the LA County Assessor's Portal website. And as you can see, your, you have your data, GIS data integrated, and there to the top right-hand corner, you have our uh, Eagle View imagery. We've also done projects there with the Board of Supervisors and the EGIS group in order to, I'm sorry, this is the Department of Public Works, I believe, 
in order to work on the measure with parcel tax for the safe and clean water. And so this is a project where they utilized our um, aerial imagery in order to derive a, uh, a land cover and uh, looking at impervious and pervious surfaces ultimately. And that's what kicked off that particular project and now what will be going forward for years to come. The Port of Long Beach, uh, you talk about a group that's really just engaged the technology and uh, what they're doing now is putting this into their Port Atlas application. As you can see, they not only have the ortho imagery there to the top, but at the bottom two, they actually have two screens, dual pane, being able to measure side by side and see that change firsthand because we're constantly capturing that imagery for the county and the consortium. Here's a couple of screenshots of Los Angeles uh, County Department of Regional Planning. And again, they stood up a nice GIS net public website that allows folks to go directly to their site, pull up uh, high resolution current imagery, look at it from different views. And again, I think this is one of the, the key elements is being able to actually see it in that detail and from your natural perspective of that 45 degree angle of what we pioneered in the industry. They also have a nice parcel profile report that you can go ahead and, um, and get from that um, website. I only got a couple more, John, and then we can open up for questions, okay? Yep, sounds good. Here, I wanted to just highlight uh, a project we did uh, regarding the solar mapping uh, project that used uh, you know, LIDAR data in addition to the ortho imagery. Um, we were part of the city of Los Angeles building and safety group where uh, they actually have built a custom integration into their system that allows them again to bring in this imagery right into their system and uh, perform their accurate measurements right from their desktop. So if you can imagine looking at 75 entities that have now started utilizing the technology the way it's supposed to be utilized. Imagine the, the amount of time and money that have this been saved over the past 10 years, 12 years that we've been working with the Lariac organization. And I think this is my last one here, the uh, world of airports. And this was done for the emergency management, but you can see the uh, widget there to the right-hand side that brings in the aerial imagery into the, um, into the system. And I'm sorry, there's one more. This is with the Woodsley fire where we actually did damage assessment, went in right after the Woodsley uh, incident and captured that imagery and allowed them to do a lot of damage assessment right from their desktop. So again, folks, this didn't happen overnight. I, I think it started with delivering data and then what ended up happening is having the proper partnerships and integrations to go ahead and be able to put it into your systems in order for not only internal users, but also external users to be able to get the information they need and make the decisions they need to make right from their desktop. So hopefully I was able to walk very quickly uh, through the history of Lariac and what, what, what it was you know, back in 2001 uh, there on the left-hand side to what I feel where it's at today um, and what it's transformed into uh, going forward. And I, and I can't wait to see here in the next phase of, of what we're gonna do with this, um, this digital aerial data and what sort of information that we'll be able to extract moving forward. So again, thank you for your time on the presentation and I'm open for questions, John. Okay, great. Yeah, thanks, Brian. And yeah, the consortium is very, very powerful. It makes a lot of sense, especially for some of these smaller agencies. You know, let's combine our, our money and, and you know, uh, help people out since we're all in the same region the all the imagery and um, deliver other deliverables are are helpful to all these other agencies too.